Hey guys, it's me back with another video. So today we're going to be doing something pretty fun. Sorry if I sound stuffy or just not feel, don't know if you think I feel different, but I'm sick, but it's okay, don't worry about it, I don't have COVID, I'm fine. But the reason I've been gone for a while is, well, I've been doing track and obviously school, you know, school's been busy, track, just been doing other fun stuff, but I will get back to my normal schedule after this video, and I won't take long breaks like this, but I've just been busy. But anyways, so you may ask, what are we doing today? So we're going to be doing something pretty fun today. We're going to be doing an unboxing. But unlike most videos, unlike most bar unboxing videos, it won't be too long. You know, I'll walk through it and it'll be pretty fun though. And we're going to be doing some puzzles. So we're going to be doing unboxing some puzzles, like Rubik's Cube puzzles. But without further ado, let's get into it. First up, first up, let's review each puzzle on difficulty, how I like it, and if you can learn it. So first, we have the Ivy Cube. The turning on this cube is pretty unique among other cubes. It doesn't, you know, you know turn like a regular 3x3. Three three. Playing around with it. I've not solved it yet, but it, but though it may look difficult, I've gotten really close, so I think you could learn it with a tutorial. Difficulty, I'm going to give it about a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have the skew. Also, these do come up, this opened, these these both were in the same uh, box, and they both came with instructions, all these puzzles came with instructions. More, more how to solve it, but also kind of just to show you how to, you know, the moves and all that. Just kind of you <coughs> never play with it. So, again, I give this a difficulty of a 5 out of 10. It's not that hard. Second, we have the skew. It, it's a lot like it, but obviously it looks different. But it turns about the same. It has, like, some weird turns to it. And I've not gotten super close to it, which it is pretty hard. It's the harder version of it, I would say. So I'm going to give this cube about, I'm going to give it a 6, 6 6.5 on a difficulty scale. But I think you could probably learn it with a tutorial. Next up, we have the pyramids. One of my favorites. So it's, you know, it has some interest, not too bad turns. You, know, you can turn it like this. And stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And this is a speed cube. Both these are just regular brand cubes. And then this is a speed cube so it turns faster. And yes, I, I don't know I don't know how to solve the IB cube and I don't know how to solve this cube. But I do know how to solve the pyramids, which I could probably make a video about showing you. But I do know how to solve the pyramids. So let's give this a good scramble. And again, twisting the corners is not cheating. It's just scrambling the cube. So let's give it a good scramble, okay? Scramble. See, it's here. So three, two, one, go. And, and we're done. Again, not a very hard puzzle. It took me like 10 minutes to learn. I just say that the turning, this might be a little harder because it's just got wacky turning. I know it sounds weird, but I'm going to give this a, I'm going to give the Pyramix a 5 out of 10. Because, again, the turning is not horrible, but it might have weirder turning. It might, or it might be different than like a 3x3, three three, but I don't think it, it shouldn't be that hard. Next up, we have the final cube, the 2x2. Two two. I do know how to solve the 2x2, two two, so I'm going to be giving you an example solve. And yes, it is a speed cube, just like the pyramid, but it's pretty fun. So first, we're going to solve it. 3, 
two, four, go. Sorry it's taking me so long. But again, I do not think that this puzzle is too difficult. There we go. But it took me a while. But again, I solve about the, I solve the pyramids and the speed two by two about the same time. Yet these and these are both the same brands. I don't think these are these are not the same brands though. But actually no, these three the scube, the the scube I mean the scube the two by two, and the pyramids are all the same brand. Q Y I believe Warrior Q Y Warrior or something like that. But yes. So the 2x2, two two, it, it's not that hard. I think the pure mix is easier. So I'm going to be ranking the 2x2 two two a 6.5. It's not that hard. I think you can learn it pretty fast. But it is can be quite challenging. But yes, all these cubes are pretty good. I got all these on around $25. I think they're pretty good. The hardest out of all of these is... I'm going to give... The skew, because it just has super weird turning. Like, if the turning man getting used to the easiest out of all these is either the pyraminx or the ivy cube. And, and then the second hardest is the 2x2, two two, which, again, it's not that hard. It did take me a while, but I haven't played with the 2x2 two two in a while. But, I hope guys, I guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, it was a... Pretty short and fun little video. But yeah, 